Hello YouTube. Thanks for clicking on the link. Just going to do a quick video of my disassembly procedure for the Daytonix Pocket 9 9mm pistol. Um, I'll start with a brief history of the Daytonix Manufacturing Corporation. It started in 1976 in Seattle, Washington, and uh, they also had a facility in Bellevue, Washington um, for some of their production. Um, like I said, it was founded in 1976. They were in Washington State until 1987. And one of these pistols is a Bellevue gun, and the other one is a Seattle gun. Uh, in 1987, they moved, and the company was rebranded as the New Daytonix Corporation in 87. Uh, they moved to Arizona and were there until 1992. Uh, the company seemed to disappear, and it reemerged in 2004 under the name Daytonix USA in Georgia. And they were there until 2007, and then again seemed to disappear. It uh, looks like there's another company that's using the Daytonix name, but it has nothing to do with the high-end 1911s uh, or these pocket pistols uh, that were manufactured during the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Um, like I said, today we're just going to focus on these here. Uh, this is the Daytonix Pocket 9, chambered 9mm. It was manufactured from 1985 to 1986. So pretty limited production pistol. Um, rumor has it that Don Johnson used it as a backup pistol in a couple of episodes of uh, the Miami Vice TV series back in the 80s. But I can neither confirm nor deny, as I have not seen any of the episodes that showcase this firearm. So... Uh, I have seen a few other videos of this pistol on YouTube, and it seems that the biggest issue that people have is the disassembly process for it. There's not a whole lot of information about these pistols. Uh, manuals, I think, are pretty much impossible to find. Uh, so it's just kind of going on you know, your knowledge of uh, firearm disassembly and word of mouth um, and there is one or two videos of actual people actually taking it apart. Uh, one of the videos I've seen is uh, a gentleman using a vise to actually hold the frame in place uh, because these two tabs, one on either side of the frame, have to be pulled down simultaneously uh, as you pull the slide rearward, cant it up, and then bring it forward to remove it from the frame. Uh, all in all, it's a pretty difficult procedure because the spring tension uh, on the slide is immense. Um, and the spring that holds these two tabs in place is pretty strong in itself. So we'll go ahead and uh, start with it. So obviously, first and foremost, you want to make sure that the firearms are empty. So no magazine. Chamber is empty. No magazine, chamber is empty. And I would obviously recommend wiping any oil or sweat off of your hands. Um, Cause if you have any grease or any oils or anything on there, trying to hold these latches in the downward position is really difficult. Uh, if you need to take the gun apart uh, without any additional tools like a vise or anything like that, uh, you really want to make sure that your fingers are, are dry. So, like I said, um, empty. I would leave the hammer in the down position. <clears throat> that alleviates any additional spring tension uh, when you pull the slide rearward. Um, like I said, you have to pull these two tabs down simultaneously, slide back, cant it up, and then forward off of the frame all in one sweeping motion. So what I do is use my middle finger, put it inside the trigger guard, use my index finger and thumb, pull down on the tabs, bracing it against my body, and then all in one sweeping motion, disassemble it. So we'll go ahead and give that a try. And then the reassembly process is pretty much the reverse. Make sure everything's kind of lined up. 
middle finger inside the trigger guard, index finger, thumb, and brace against your body, back down. Oops. Try one more time. And if you think it's a fluke, um, we can go ahead and try it with this one as well. The magazine, empty. Finger inside the trigger guard. And, and reassemble. So that's it. Disassembly and reassembly process of two Daytonics 9 9 millimeter pocket pistols. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, remember, your Second Amendment rights are always under attack. Uh, every gun law is 100% unconstitutional. Don't let anybody tell you any different. So, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And thanks for watching. And we really appreciate it. Hope to have some other uh, interesting videos coming over here soon. So thanks again. Appreciate it.